We're here! Hello, San Francisco. <laughs> Hi. Hi, San Francisco. I'm Emil. And I'm AJ. And this is LGBTQ Nations On The Road, presented by Toyota. I would never get sick of driving over this bridge, ever. Today, we're visiting Tyler in the Castro, and we're driving the Prius Prime, which gets a total driving range of up to 640 miles combined with a full tank of gasoline and the full charge. Wow. This is gay mecca. I have an idea. Okay. How about while we drive, we listen to our podcast, Confess Your Mess? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Welcome back to Confess Your Mess, our new home. Welcome to San Francisco and welcome to the Castro. We're Thank excited. You. Thanks for having us. First time. Love all the rainbow flags. Uh -huh. Yeah, Living. we're excited to have you and show you around. <laughs> yes. So we're in the Castro right now. What makes the Castro so special? The Castro is incredible because you're gonna find every type of person. You're gonna find color, you're gonna find a bit of a breeze, so don't forget your sweater. Yeah, we're, <laughs> hey, we're, um, we're prepared. <laughs> you have everything here. You have the daddies, you have the bears, you have the queens. You have such a like creative group of people who don't want to be defined, and we love that. You also have all these local bars and businesses. I think it's a place where people can be whatever they want to be. It does feel like like a neighborhood. Yes. Like it actually feels like a gayborhood. It's almost like a microcosm of what the world could be yes. right. if yes. the rest of the world has got on board and understood the queer community and what we're like capable of. Yeah. All right, Tyler, so we're total rookies. Yes. yes. Uh, first time visitors, what sort of recommendations would you make? Dolores Park. You have to go to Dolores Park. Okay. Dolores, okay. Yeah, so it's this amazing park in the middle of the city, and it's just constantly packed. It's just like this cute mini central park in San Francisco. San Francisco, we're here, <laughs> we're queer, get used to it. <laughs> It feels like there's like a culture yeah. here in the Castro. Yeah. You think of like New York City, you think of Stonewall, you think of San Francisco, you think of the Castro, and Harvey Milk, and the activism yes. that started here. It's interesting you bring up the history because I think Castro is like constantly changing. Mm. You'll see like new bars popping up, but then you also see the bar next to it that's been there for a hundred years. Right. Whoa, this is history. Whoa. This is Harvey Milk's camera shop. He ran his political headquarters right here. This is wild. The iconic Castro oh, yeah. Theater. It feels like you're in the middle of a big hug mm -hmm. in this neighborhood. Literally, all the flags. I see every single flag I need to see, yeah. letting you know that everybody's welcome here. I also see a sushi spot. I do. You know, I love sushi. <laughs> SF is welcoming to everyone, and so in that regard, there's a bar for everything. I love going out in the Castro. I love going to High Tops, Toad Hall. They're all just down the street. Lookout is obviously incredible. You ready for a drag brunch? Yes! <laughs> Let's do it! This is Saturday night in the Castro. This is like our kind of a Saturday night. We go to a bar, food. have some food, <laughs> we chill, and we're home. Great drink. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Cheers to a beautiful time in San Francisco. Mm. That was good. Mm. That was good. Enjoy your time here, and I hope to see you out. 